Dude, I don't even know what to say. What is going on, y'all? We are stoked about this one. It is our best fly fishing episode to date with a lot of new announcements coming at you. Let me hit you with them today. We're fishing big game changers. I'm gonna tell you right where they came from. I'm gonna show you some underwater footage and we're gonna catch some big fish. We actually tie our PB fly rod catch today on these bad boys right here. And also we've got three full new fly rod and reel combos we're showcasing on today's episode. Let's get right into it. So we've been fly fishing on the channel since about mid-September. Y'all have been loving it. I mean, the views have been like some of our best performing videos lately have been our fly fishing content and we cannot thank y'all enough for that. And with that being said, We've been getting a lot of criticism, we've been getting a lot of feedback, we've been getting a lot of great pointers and tips, and one thing that kept popping up was game changers. We started fishing the uh, smaller variants that we picked up from Tailwaters originally, then somebody recommended to me a guy named Chase Smith at Fish Chase Flies on Instagram and said he does great work with game changers, specifically some very large sizes too. And this thing gets bit, but we needed a beefier rod to throw it. We started off throwing a lot of these six weight combos and we needed something a little bit stronger for this size fly. So I was recommended a 10 weight rod by Chase. So we paired that up with the reel we got locally, spooled it up with some line from Tailwaters in Dallas and we hit the water and caught fish on our very first cast. We're about to get to the fishing, but before we do, we have one more announcement and that is new rods and reels. Straight from Seaborn Outfitters, a brand new Texas-based fly company, y'all. We could not be more thrilled about showcasing. Check this stuff out. We just linked up with Chris from Seaborn this morning at Starbucks and uh, we hit it off, honestly. We started talking about all the R&D they've been doing into these products the last couple of years, how they're extremely proud and confident in what they've put together and we could not be more excited to test them and review them. Specifically, they got us one of their Brackwater and Tributary combos. We have now a five weight and an eight weight from them. We're gonna be throwing these things soon, y'all. But let's get into today Today's fishing, we literally break out the 10 weight for the first time ever. Catch a fish, first cast. It's uh, it's nothing short of unbelievable. And then we start raking them up after that on the game changers. Thank you, Chase. Thank you, Seaborn. Let's get right into it. All right, let's see what we got here. She floats for a moment. This will be very interesting. That was a bass right there, I think. There we go, look at that kick. Oh my gosh, first cast. Oh my gosh, first ever cast. No way, no way. Big bass, y'all. First time fishing the combo. Oh my gosh, there's no way, there's no way. There's no way. There is no way. Oh my gosh, keep this line tight, y'all. That's a good bass right there. That's a good bass. That's a good one. Oh my. what to say that was first cast I've been so quiet just trying to get my gear ready whoa we're gonna have to talk about this one as soon as this thing went subsurface I was like look at that kick two seconds later oh my gosh oh my gosh seven inch game changer get out of here that's like a three pounder Let's see if she Cruising insanity. Okay, I, I barely know how to put that into words. Let's catch another one. So here's how it looks fresh out of water when it's all wet. But when it's kicking, whoo -hoo, it's got an S weave like you've never seen. Let's go. That's number two. Dude, this sinking line is crazy. Organize my mess. Come on over here, kid. Second one ever. Oh my gosh. Dude, smoked it. We need the pliers. All right, buddy. Let's get you back. Caesar. Insane. 
two fish so far, but I think I've wore out this little pocket, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk the bank a little bit. Hopefully we can get a few more. Holy smokes, Chase, the bait is ridiculous. They love it. Uh, the sinking line is crazy. I'm kind of just getting the hang of it. The 10 weight rod casting this thing is insane, but basically once you get like two whips, you just gotta let that thing fly is what I'm finding out works best for me. So what I mean by that is you're not going back and forth a million times with this thing. You're getting just enough line out there to get one solid whip and just let it take out all the line possible is what I'm noticing works the best with the seven inch game changer. It is definitely night and day casting this compared to just a light fly, obviously. But like a dry fly, the line really carries it. This thing's got weight to it. So you just gotta wait till that thing's at the apex, let it load that rod up and go for the next swing. And they're annihilating it. They're choking this thing. The bite is hot right now, y'all. Let's put this camera down and try and catch some more. So on these casts, I'm able to kind of like just take it back once, give it a good fling, and I get about 35 to 40 foot cast. So that's kind of like good for just walking the banks. Oh God, oh, I had him, oh no. So what I'm figuring out is you'll see the bait and it's like just subsurface, but that's because the fluorocarbon and the bait itself doesn't sink extremely fast, but the line, the darker portion of this line, the first 25 feet sinks pretty quick. So I've got my bait with some fluoro with the sinking line and then what I'm, the handling line, usually the yellow is what I'm stripping. So that 25 feet is kind of like sinking really fast. So the bait actually ends up going lower as you strip it back to you. And this line is geared more towards colder water. So I, I guess it doesn't get as spongy or like crimped up and whatnot in the colder temps. So we'll be using this all winter long. It's got that sink so I can get down lower where those bass are gonna be at. Right now is it's kind of that transition though. The water is definitely cooling down when the sun is high. I've been getting these bites. So I'm just gonna try and rip this thing and stay active here with my back to the wind. So hopefully y'all can hear something I'm saying. Cool, it's a giant. Oh, it's a big, oh yes, smoked it. Oh my gosh, giants are on the big bait today, y'all. Insane. Yes, choked it. Yo, number three. Woo! Insanity, y'all. See you, bud. They're on the move. I think we're about to get a big one. The water's starting to clear up over here. They're gonna see this thing from a mile away. You gotta start stripping right away. This is not as easy as your floating fly line that most folks start with or are using for dry flies, etc. It sinks quick if you're in some fairly shallow water. So I wanna make sure I'm not getting snagged on trees. I gotta bring it in quick. Otherwise, I'll sink down to the bottom and get this $25 fly snagged. And it's really not even about the cost for me. It's about the uh, fact that these things take weeks to get in. These are fully custom hand-tied flies and uh, I don't want to lose this if I don't have to. Hopefully I'm not jinxing myself. <gasps> Big bass. Big bass. Oh gosh. Oh, biggest one yet. Biggest one yet. Y'all, that's a big one. That's a true giant. This is a big one, whether it's a fly rod or casting gear right here. Oh my gosh. Y'all, a giant. A giant. Oh my gosh. This thing is big. Woo! On the concrete. Oh my gosh. How do I land this thing? He's a big one. He's a big one. Easy on that new reel. Oh my gosh. Oh, that might be the biggest one on the fly ever. Where is the scale? I know I have it. Oh, no, that's not it. There it is. Oh, watch the trash. All right, y'all, three and a half is my biggest. Let's see what we got. First day out with fish chase flies. It's teetering. Oh my gosh, y'all. Tied my PB fly fish bass today with the fish chase flies. And if we catch anything else bigger than this, it is gonna be an even bigger and newer PB. Would not have thought this was the outcome today getting out here with this big old fly. I was hoping to catch one. I was hoping to genuinely like get a bite on this thing and see what happens. But instead, this beast of a bait is getting smoked right here in the rock. Wow, what a fish. Seems like they're up shallow while the sun is high. And I've noticed for me, usually when the bite you'd think is really hot, like right at sunset, is when they start to uh, simmer down and not bite as much lately. The water's getting colder. I think just, you know, midday when that heat is on, they'll come up to the shallows and they'll feed. And then they want to go back out deep and just kick back as it's cooling down. That seems to be the deal. Now, a pro would probably retie. I'm gonna retie. I got a little fray here and I wanna make sure we've got the utmost integrity with our fluorocarbon. By the way, this is 20 pound fluorocarbon, y'all. I went straight for the big stuff on these baits. And I think there's a better knot to tie, almost like a loop 
to these game changers, but I'm just doing a Palomar, which is kind of what I know from my standard bass fishing gear. I think it's like a loop knot or whatever. You guys are going to have to let me know what's the best knot for these game changers because I think there is supposed to be one that's better for the action, but this one's so big and like it kicks regardless. On the smaller ones, I think it will definitely make a big difference towards the action if you have a little loop in front, but on this big one, it really just almost like kicks and thumps no matter what is what it seems like to me. This thing's got such a big stout hook too. This is like as big and thick and sharp as like what I'd be throwing on my jigs, Texas rigs type of stuff. This is not what I thought fly fishing was, y'all. This is so new to us. I thought fly fishing looked boring. That's why I never got into it. Ha! <laughs> I was so wrong, dude. Way too addicting. Worked a lot of this uh, little dam here in the riprap and I haven't uh, seen any even really follow it. They seem to be like in the shallow grassy edge over this here, but I'm gonna just continue working it and see if I can entice one big one that's lurking right here. Eat it, eat it, got him. Oh, I saw him coming up for it as it was suspending right by the rock. All this hiking got me hot. 10 weight combo, y'all, how crazy. This is like such a beefy reel compared to what we did have. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, got him, okay. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, he came off. Dang, that was a good one. In that split second he hit, I didn't feel it right away and I just kind of leaned in and I didn't get a strip set on that one. That probably was the downfall of that almost catch. But then again, you really never know how you got them hooked. Sometimes it's fantastic whether you set the hook or not. You know how they whip at it. They can usually get hooked pretty good. That was my first bite in probably 20, 25 minutes. And I slipped up. Oh, wow. Delicate hand wash only. There he is. Another couple pounder here. Okay, well, hold on now. God, oh, solid. Chunky little two pounder. I'll see you. This might be the one. That's good. So that's a good one, y'all. Guys. Nice. Come here. Yep, I see you. Oh, another solid one. Woo! What a bait, y'all. What a fish. What a day. This is just crazy. Come on with it. See ya. Got him. Got him. There we go. He came up and hit it right. Smallest one. That was a cool hit. I saw that one. Figured it was bigger. I was wrong. See you, bud. Kid. Oh wow. Well, you're over there now. How does this work? There we go. They're smoking it. No fishing? Oh, yes, sir. Hey, I'll take off. I'm sorry. Well, there's the end of the fun right there. We got kicked out. I guess that's going to do it, y'all. Look at that thing. Torn up. I'm going to just go ahead and unrig everything right here, right now, and put it all up. That way, I just hop in the car and split. We got the goodies put away. We are ringing out the MVP. This is like one of my favorite baits I've ever fished. The action's insane. That was easily the best session we've ever had fly fishing, y'all. So much size right there. Like, that was a decent bag. Our top five, if we would have weighed them all, it would have been off the chain. <laughs> Never have we had that experience before. And it's way too fun just carrying one rod and reel with you. Like, you know, you can switch up your baits, but uh, traveling with the fly rod is so much simpler. And it's uh, kind of low key, right? But in the end, we got the boot. You know how it goes fishing in the city. So I guess we're wrapping things up on that note. Do not forget 
to go check out Chase's flies. I mean, absolutely sick. And we only fished one of the two we got from them. So we got a lot more in store for you. Let us know where you'd like to see us fish these big game changers next. And we'll catch you on those future videos. Bass boat, kayak, John boat, casting gear, you name it. We're going to try and supply it for you. Hit the like button and we'll catch you then. Peace.